Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 112 of Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. So we are supposed to check uh, the drains Nothing to find out which of the uh, drains was the one through which the pipe bomb was... Uh, Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. We can't go there? Okay. I thought we were supposed to examine this. We looked at the first one. And this one. Oh, another one. Okay. This one. What's this? Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah. Bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four. And bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. By the way, what about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault. Has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes. Ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters. Spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of the Kaviri the night before. So she he let him die? Let's let her die? On the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen? Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Henkel? Who's that? Margrave Henkel. Who's that? Who was that, you mean? Old Coach been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honorable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie. So the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you! Wow, this is not giving us much experience. Huh. Okay. Oops. Didn't even know how don't even know how to get out of here. Is that the door? <laughs> and that's the main door. Nope, that's not a main door. Main door is over here. Oh wait, wait, wait. They have respawned. Yes, they have respawned. And how about okay? Oh, let's. Uh, I won't waste you guys your your time. So let us go check out. Okay. Uh. So where? This is another. Some kind of a. Okay, we're there and. 
let's go through the main uh, to the main square and from there I think we can see his house something like right here maybe we should change our uh, cash first how much cash do we have I mean the law uh, the Florence and uh, Eight? Not this one. Uh, is it this one. Yeah, we've got three hundred fourteen in terms of Florence and uh, eight hundred fifteen Orange. Do they weigh anything? Oh, they do weigh something. Okay, at least let's get rid of some of the weight. How can I be of service? I'd like to convert some currency. Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. Okay. We got oh a thousand almost eighteen hundred uh, crowns. Cool. Uh, and then where is this? Uh, I thought it was just off. Yeah, it was just off uh, the main square. Okay, uh, high up square. What a dump! Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. This is the house, right? How do we get in there? Can we go behind? Like through here. Oh, the guy's trying to play bas baseball. Okay, can we blow it down? So how do we get in there? Search. Okay, maybe we have to use our Witcher senses. Apparently, uh, we didn't you do that. So let's check. Oh, we can blow that door down. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. So examine. Footprints. The last wish.
Okay, let's clean out this place. Oh, lots of bottles, but uh, I don't think uh, we can loot them. Sorry guys, I got a case of the itchy throats again. A letter and a bottle. Let's take it. Examine it. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions or series. Okay, we have to interact with it. It must be on again one of the false walls or not. How come we cannot interact with it? it must be a false wall. Where is the... Uh, should we automatically be able to use that, you know? Uh, that item that Kira gave us. Uh, bottle of wine? No, not that. Magic. Here. No, 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 not that one. Uh, yes. We cannot. We cannot? Or should we place the bottle back where. Let's read the, uh, the instruction again. It says, place the bottle back. Uh, this one. Nope, that's a letter of safe conduct, silver lid. No, not that one. The Curious Cases of Virtuous Vega. I thought, uh, how about this bottle? So I am stumped. I thought we should, when we approach the wall, the Eye of Neth Nethalim, or whatever that is, will automatically uh, allow us to interact with the wall, like this. Why won't it open? Unless there's something here that we are missing. Oh yes, okay. No, place the bottle there, okay. <laughs> 1245 to 12.54. I will open the wall. Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. No wonder. Now it should open. Yes. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. <laughs> No wonder Dandelion disappeared. Because he looted. What a big hole. Letter from Dufu. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good.
sugar, and lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks Potassium. like they made the bomb here. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstein. Okay, somebody footsteps that we heard. Extra and Triss. Oh, Triss. We could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was. Have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Wait, why'd you come here? Hang on. <clears throat> Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stopped by to see if everything was alright. <laughs> Myself. Fine. You look after yourself, and I'll look after my interests. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? All signs point to Mengen. Oh, for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard. Caleb Menga. Well, well, Merigo. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Know you well enough to know what matters. Results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt, but after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. You're hiding something, and that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling. When I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. 
<laughs> What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never. Merely <laughs> making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. <laughs> it's really a spy master. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we, you know. Deekstra doesn't need to know about my love life. Wise. I'd never choose his shoulder to cry on either. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Okay, so... I get... Ooh! Whoa! These sorcerers is... I love... Can we get that too? Just pop and uh, through the portal, we're we're gone from here. Okay, uh, I guess it's a good place to cut the episode. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you wait, wait. Let, I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye.